1986, my first trip to India. I arrived in Bombay, I didn't know where I was really because it was so totally different from the western suburbs of Sydney. All the sights, the sounds, the smells, the chaos all around the bus. When you're an Australian test cricketer, your fame is such that you swarm the moment you get outside that bus. So I had a camera but couldn't take all these shots of kids playing in the alleyways, in the back streets, on the beaches, in all different scenarios. So I thought one day I'd love to come back. 16, 17 years down the track after retiring, I thought my profile might be a bit less now. Had the great support of Canon and the idea really came to fruition about 18 months ago. It was an amazing trip. We went to the beaches, to the desert, to the mountains. We were a cross section of people and scenes. They love cricket. It unites the people, it gives them a connection to each other and it makes them feel really good. For a lot of them it's a, it's a bit of a break from being living in poverty. There's 800 million people live below the poverty line. But cricket unites them and it makes them feel good and it makes them feel connected to each other. The physically challenged cricketers, just seeing those guys flying through the air, that was amazing to watch those guys. It was like pure artistry and poetry in motion. So that really captivated me to see that to start with. Playing cricket with the blind cricketers, that was a real challenge. Gave me a greater appreciation of their skill level. Catching up with the oldest first class cricketer, Vasant Raj, who unfortunately passed away recently, but sharing a birthday with he and Sachin Tendulkar was a, was a special night as well. Yeah, it was great to catch up with a couple of guys. I mean, the idea of this book was to capture the spirit of cricket through the lens of my camera. And it wasn't necessarily about the superstars, but I couldn't go past catching up with a couple of adversaries and really good friends, Sachin Tendulkar and then Rahul Dravid. I never thought I'd have an exhibition to start with, and here it is at 21 Oxford Street, Paddington in Sydney, at the Playbox Theatre. You come along here and make a donation to the Steve Waugh Foundation. They'd come and buy whatever print they want. Uh, the book is available at stevewaugh.com.au. I thought I had to get a picture of the Taj, and that was, um, took a while to get because the day we went there was a 10 hour round trip and it was fogged in, so we had to go back the next morning. So it took 18 hours to get that shot, so I thought, if I've taken that long to get it, I may as well put it on the front of the book. And there's a couple of photos of you batting against a lot of these kids. Yeah. How are you, how you seeing them? Not too bad, actually. I, I got that competitive instinct and spirit going, but the main thing was I, I wanted to get natural shots. And so every time we go to a, a scene for a shot, they'd want to come up and have an autograph and a selfie. And I'd say, look, just go about your cricket and we'll have a game of cricket later on. So that was a sort of give and take that uh, I got my shots and then we'd have a game of cricket afterwards. Mm -hmm.